What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into um, what is it? Regine New Boo did this. Ah, let's get into it. It's so real tea. So real gang, how are we doing today? Let's get into the video. This past weekend, it seemed like a few familiar faces has linked up. For those of you that have been following, you guys all know Jazz and India, Maya's best friend, have been dealing with each other for the past year. India's birthday is coming up and everyone linked up and popped out to the club. And guys, when I say everyone, I mean everyone. Even her boo Jazz, Amar, even Crystal's ex boo C, and her ex best friend Zavel. They all were there. And it didn't seem to be any beef. C and Jazz were both in the same section, even though Jazz's name was just mentioned when her and Crystal were going back and forth. I don't know, y'all. It's just so funny because everyone that says India and Jazz are not together and Jazz pay that girl dust, but yet Jazz is in the club with India for her upcoming birthday. I don't know, guys. Comment down below and let us know what you think. I just love to see adult influencer celebrities that, you know, may not be acquainted with each other or may not be friends, but still can get along and be in the same area and section and... One thing about Jazz, she's not going to lose her bag for nobody or put herself in a in a spot to where she going to lose it. You know what I'm saying? She makes sure she keep that bag. Enjoy themselves without any drama. I think that and is... I'm saying that because she don't want to go to jail. You feel me? a lot of growth and i love that but you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what do you think about jazz c zavo india and the rest of the crew in the club together the other day zavo was also on live and he stated that i was wrong for saying that him and karina were back cool because him and karina are not friends at all but he did state that he followed Karina on Twitter and she followed him back. He stated that they are just cordial. He did take to Twitter yesterday and he reposted Karina's picture that she tweeted on Twitter and shared a picture of Karina and her baby bump. He stated, oh my God, my baby is really having a baby and shared the picture. Now guys, Zabel did take to Instagram Live the other day after I posted that him and Karina were cool. He took to Instagram Live and stated that him and Karina are not cool and he followed her on Twitter and she just so happened to follow him back. He did state that there's no beef between them and they're just cordial. They're not really friends. But yet he just shared another one of her tweets and a picture of her. I mean, I get that she looks beautiful and I get that she's having a baby. But if you're not her friend, why do you continue sharing her post? So maybe he's just trying to get back in her good graces. I don't know, guys. Comment down below and let us know what you think. But yeah, I don't know why these Steve is steady fucking posting me. It's nothing to post about me, babe. I'm a regular person of a regular life. Bitch, if I wanted to live that life heavy on the life I would have been did it. <laughs> Nigga said heavy on the life. <laughs> I could have been started a YouTube, been did all that. I'd have been around bitches. Bitches dream of being around. I could have been doing a lot of shit, recording. I go out. I, I leave the. I take a trip every fucking week. I could be recording down, really taking trips, really having in real life. That's why maybe I should start. Damn, they. <laughs> I don't know. If the YouTubers out here making it seem like they broke or whatever, or they feel like they got more because, you know, I ain't even about to say what they do, but you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a different line of work. And some people just make a little more money with their line of work. Okay. Um, so maybe, you know, it's one of those things, but like YouTubers really be having, I ain't even gonna lie. They probably be spending uh, the amount of designer that you see him with is out of control, but I don't know, niggas is not broke, though. Because the YouTubers are so fake. Like, once that camera turned off... You right on the fake part. That's totally different people. But, um, I feel like I would be a very real bitch if I was to start a YouTube, like, show y'all real shit. Are you and Karina still cool? I've been getting this question a lot today. I'm gonna answer this one time. One time only, one time. So let's clock it right now. Me and Karina is not cool. I know y'all been DMing me. Y'all even been DMing me. Like, I don't know. Yes, Karina followed me and I follow her on Twitter. We're not cool. 
Like we're not friends. I'm not saying I'm not I'm against being cool with her or anything like that, but I'm not gonna get on here and say like, oh that's my friend, because this we just cordial at this point. She follow me, I follow her. Yeah. I actually follow her first and she followed me back. Let me rephrase that because you know y'all like to take stuff that people say and like flip it. Bitch, I'm a real bitch. I can tell you I follow her first on Twitter and she followed me back. Regardless, I honestly never wanted to fall out with Karina and I don't feel like we actually really fell out. I just feel like the shit with me and Karina was petty, dry, um, and I really fucked with Karina, so I'm not against being back her friend, and actually, I really do feel like no shit. I think all of it is petty and dry, but I, I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, voice made me realize that I need to speak from a 20-year-old mindset because, you know, y'all know they think we grandmas anyway, but when you're older you do see things differently because you experience a lot of different stuff. So the, the stuff that they are going through, it is, it, it's definitely not that deep. They'll realize that when they get older, but um, it is dangerous. They all play a real dangerous game. I feel like, uh, but why, why be lame in your twenties and not be dangerous? You know, stay dangerous. <laughs> say me and her was closer than me and the other girl. I would say, like, as far as when we was a trio. Now, take that how y'all want it. And y'all do what y'all do as y'all please. Okay? Now, please stop asking y'all people. Please. I know they screen recording. I know they screen recording. I don't give a fuck because I never say nothing bad. And that's why I always watch what I say because they're always screen recording 24-7. Trust me, I know I'm being recorded. Hey, page video on YouTube so y'all can send me some niggas. Please put that part. Let's get into Miss Crystal. GD. You guys all know she has a new boo by the name of Ed. Well, guys, they have been dropping a few YouTube videos for you guys. So if you haven't caught up, make sure you guys head over to her channel and check those videos out. They're definitely a vibe. I just love their connection. He's always joking with her and they're always joking with each other. They get along very well. And I just love how he just, you know, like he lets her know how he's feeling He's very open with her, and I think she is as well. If you guys take a look at her video, he was joking with her and told Crystal that she was a catfish because the camera enhanced her beauty. But you guys leave your comments down below and let us know oh, what damn. you think. Get my phone. Yo shit coming like that, twin. Exactly, get my phone on myself. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, this camera like... On myself. Really, cause you, you know you catfish, right? So like... <sighs> Yeah. So look on some time and like the camera this? like the camera just Who make you look this? like so cute. Take this off real quick. <laughs> Take it off real quick. Well Who I ain't got this? I ain't got no haircut. Exactly, man. exactly. I look rough right now, but put the camera on me. Huh? Put the camera. They look like they be having a nice little time together. Exactly. I look rough right now, but I'm still oh. oh my bad. Yeah, it's completely okay when a woman wanna go back to a man. That's okay. Hell, root for. Root for her. Let her go back to a man. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Sometimes you experience things and it don't go the way you need it to go. Or, um, hell, you might experience it twice. It don't go the way you want it to go. But it's given that she had her fun. You know what I'm saying? Now she back on the other side. I don't think nothing wrong with it. But I'm still like, yeah, that girl on my side. Hey, what type of jacket this is you got on? I got it from Forever 21. That shit it's tough, cute. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, can't drip like this. That shit hard. He did state that he will be starting a YouTube channel and okay. some of him and Crystal videos will be on that channel. So make sure if you guys haven't subscribed to his channel yet, make sure you guys head over there, run that up so you guys can get that content. Leave your comment down below and let us know what you think about Ed and Crystal. Like I was saying, we'll be going places and we'll be there for like 30 minutes. We'll be having to fit everything in. That's all we need is 30 minutes. No, like. it's not. We grown, but we not that grown. Like, I want to go and still have fun. We do be having fun. I know I have fun minutes. in like I have fun in like thirty minutes. I don't be I I be needing like an hour of fun. An hour? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only thing that might cause them a little bit of problems. She want to do a little more than what he like to do, cause he's a calm type of dude. He good, like he said, he good on thirty minutes. 
there's a lot of people that's not really good on 30 minutes, but um, that's what he like. He cool with 30 minutes. Cool. Um, she need about an hour. So, you know, you got to have a little balance. Stay 45, you know, a little 50 minute, walk out at 50. You know what I'm saying? They figure it out. Yeah, you too big up a kid. Okay. Live life from the edge. Come on, let's jump out of the sky then. Okay. You want to go skydiving? No. Let's get into Regine. The other day, it was reported that her and G5 are now back dealing with each other. Well, guys, since then, someone has been showering her with flowers. Comment down below, guys, and let us know. Do you think these are from G5? I mean, she still has the big beard that he bought her, even those flowers that spelt out her name, Regine. She still have all of those in her house. What y'all think? Do you think she still have them because she... I wouldn't throw them away. What we throwing flowers and bears away for? Genuinely loves the gift. That was a gift at one point. I'm keeping my gift. And they're cute. Why get rid of them? Or do you think she kept them because her and G5 are still in dealings with each other? Let us know what you think. Y'all, they was like, Zabo is crazy. Something. Hold on. That shit was so fucking funny. I was literally crying laughing at that shit. Like, it's no way y'all really taking a YouTube video and making y'all believe like I'm crazy in the head or something. <laughs> But I'm about to show y'all one second. I'm looking for it. Mm. Like, that shit was just so fucking funny to me. Not Metro over here offering home internet. <laughs> they was there ass, too. Damn. Oh, look. It's this one. They were looking for the hoes. First of all, I'm about to start doing Instagram reactions because I who knew you could do this? Who knew you could do this? Exactly. But look. Um... Look what they say. I don't know which page this was on the... Oh, y'all can't even see it, huh? Let me turn the comments off. But they was... <laughs> I just thought this shit was so fucking funny. Because crazy? Bitch, do I give crazy to y'all? Or... I don't know. I think it's because I was a screaming or something on the um on the space or something. But they was like, bitch, don't just try to make it seem like I'm crazy now. I ain't gonna lie. People just be saying anything. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.